种违规异常，了解详情。为难的亲人 ，They make me horny。So I used to travel around the amino app looking for chaos and disaster. On that journey, I arrived on an amino called Anxiety and Depression Amino. There was a really dumb troll that had practically taken over the amino and was posting really cringy, weak attempts at trolling by just insulting mental health. I spent a little while sending him the B movie script, and that was when I ended up getting into a conversation with him. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm a terrible troll. Here's something juicy you can sink your teeth into. This person happened to tell me about an amino called Anime Eternally. There was a predator on this amino named Humbly, who is incredibly notorious, highly dangerous, and actually hilariously cringy. Humbly has been leading Anime Eternally for years, and multiple people have followed him and tried to even get him arrested. I thought that there might be a chance this could be interesting, so I decided to investigate. I arrive at a chat and see this guy treating a bunch of girls terribly. I figured, shit, maybe this is some super weird roleplay. But then I realized these people might be serious. Worse yet, Amino's age range tends to be on the really low end, so seeing this behavior really worried me. Everyone, fuck off, Aaron. Ugh, look at me, say you worship me, trust me, I control everything, you stupid bitch. Looks at you. I, I worship you. Only you control everything. Cringe. Look me, I control this relationship. Right. Looks at you. Do you control this relationship? God, so fucking sweet, I fucking love you. I looked into another chat to try to figure out what the hell I walked into here. Bon boy. I don't want to see talking till I wake. These texts you all send don't really look like you're facing hell like me at all. It's like you're just bored when I'm here to feel better for real from my hard shit life. Stop talking and groups. Too much in PM nobody here to feel my pain. I didn't make the amino for that. But go TF on with your PMS, but fuck off. I don't allow talking to anyone but me if you that's me. When I fucking need you I won't fully get you. I fucking won't I can't have that. There won't be no talking roleplay when I'm sleeping everybody band real I wait till. What the fuck is it with creepy pedophiles and never being able to speak English? I'm sorry I wasn't good enough today. I'll be better next time. I still love you a lot and it'll never end. My love for you will always be there, and you're still the only person I want to be with. You're my king so please don't be mad at me. Good night, my sir. Please don't hate me. This kind of scared me, to be honest. Do you don't want to talk to me ever again? I hope you'll change your mind. I need you, I don't know what to do without you. Please don't leave me please. I'll do anything to make you happy again. That read like honesty to me, and it made me realize that this person might be actually in love with this fucking weirdo. You all think this is a fucking game? I live in hell, that's all I fucking know, hell. Daddy, why I am this way? I'm sorry, sir. Of course, rest well. I'll miss you. Fuck off, I'm trying to warn you all this moment is a bad one. After work, turn home and I'll sleep. I must be please well I don't feel it at all. Jesus fuck off don't ever talk to me again ever. Speech lung I stress. This moment after work I cannot be stressed I must get a lot here. I spoke up. I cut this screenshot off like an idiot but in essence I was saying how the girl should leave and that this dude is really abusive. I went off on a tangent about how rude and weird this guy is and how no one should be taking this. 
Then, the screenshot resumes at, the strongest support is helping someone learn how to support themselves. I kiss back now I'm off to bed. They could be making a problem worse by showing love, as it can become something unhealthy and abusive, isn't it true? I was replying here to someone who was telling me that they need to show this grown-ass man love and support, because that's the only option here. But, I was trying to explain that will make the problem worse. Sweet dreams. I immediately got kicked. Girls tell me you love me. I love you. It's fucking support from a suffering motherfucker. No, it's my way in totally good girls. Kiss me before I go. Slow. Kisses you slowly and softly. I'll miss you. I kiss back now I'm off to bed. One of the girls messaged me with this. Stranger, I like you. You are right. He forces us to support him. He will ban us if we don't love him. Please don't tell him about this PM. I see. This is a very strange situation. He is unkind to you. He harasses the members and forces underage members to send him nudes and have sexual roleplay with him. That's when I realized that this situation was far worse than what I even knew. I contacted some friends to help out. Thank you Ashton for laying the grounds to this wondrous story. And now it's time for me to tell my side of the story. Soon after Ashton, uh stumbled upon Mr. Humbly Bumbly. He sent me screenshots letting me know about this amino and about the man himself. He had mentioned it before, but I had no idea it was this bad. Was I shocked? Of course, of course I was. What seemed to be an innocent anime amino for anything anime related, roleplay and whatnot, turned out to be a very sickening cesspit designed by a predator himself just so he could have easier access to um his prey so what's my involvement here well soon after ashton told me about his experiences in uh anime eternally i made a request to enter the amino under the guise of somebody who just wanted to be in an anime amino it took some time but eventually i was let in almost immediately i changed my profile to be that of a young 14 year old girl trying to see if he would take the bait and within mere seconds i kid you not he was immediately in my dms and i thought hey maybe he didn't see the fact i put in my bio that i'm 14. no he he did not care <laughs> immediately with the sexual comments yeah yeah it, it, it's not pretty but i tried to stay in for as long as i possibly could because i wanted to see what was going on in the chat rooms let me just tell you it was really hard to get in into any of the chat rooms i wanted to try and talk to some of the other people the other victims of him but it was extremely difficult because he wasn't allowing any of them to talk to each other if i went into a chat room and i was like hey what's up even just casually he'd fucking lose his mind everything was just controlled under his dictatorship. No matter how much I wanted to actually interact with other members, it was near impossible. People's DMs were turned off because he had told them to turn their DMs off, that they could only speak to him, no one else. Now you're probably wondering why the hell would anyone even stay in his amino and deal with him. I think there's multiple reasons. Just pure fear as like a, a child getting yelled at by this adult person. Feeling like you did something wrong. You're making him miserable. You're making him feel bad. Just guilt trip after guilt trip. Not to mention he would love bomb certain people. Be like, oh you're beautiful. Oh you're great. And would kind of form this connection to the kids. And I think that's the reason why some people stayed, because there definitely were a lot of people who left. A lot of people reported him and were like, I left because of this stuff. So it's not that everyone was staying and everyone was obligated to stay, but there certainly were a lot of minors who felt like they can't leave or that they shouldn't leave. Some of them made friends within the Amino and didn't want to just abandon them. Humbly made it incredibly hard for people to talk to one another, so if you made a friend and then you were banned from talking to them, you didn't want to just leave them there with this dictator of a leader. It was just incredibly complicated, and a lot of these kids were just naive, didn't know what was going on, but they didn't want somebody to be mad and yelling at them, so they just did whatever he wanted. Plus, there were some girls who were definitely brainwashed under his control, and who were also either leaders or curators, and they just listen to him and be nasty to the other girls in the Amino. 
Girls and boys, actually. It was just an absolute mess. It's been a while now, so I can't remember everything that happened. But I do know that at some point, Team Amino had a bit of a fuck-up. They no longer were able to take any sort of reports in the report center. Like, it just broke down. So instead, another Amino was made so that people could put reports there in blogs. So both me and my boyfriend, Faust, went to this Amino in order to report him, hoping that we'd actually get in contact with somebody from Team Amino directly. We did! We did get in contact with somebody directly, but they did little to nothing about the situation. And also Humbly was in this Amino as well and tried to point the finger actually at my boyfriend Foss, calling him the predator without any screenshots or evidence. Just pointing the finger and trying to be like, no, 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 it's him. He's the one who's doing this, obviously. I almost immediately went to this guy's DMs and was like, you take that down right the fuck now or I'm coming over to where you are and kicking your ass. <laughs> Not literally, but just, I was mad. I was mad in DMs. I was just like, fuck you. And he almost immediately took the post down. I guess he wasn't expecting anyone to, you know, speak up and have a mouth. It's not like he had control anyways. This wasn't his amino. He couldn't just kick me out. So yeah, a war started between us and Humbly. He tried to raid a few of our aminos that we had at the time, harass us in DMs. At some point, he tried to fucking pretend to be a girl so that he could get like Foss to cheat on me or some shit. It was really obvious that it was him, first of all. It was just a really pathetic attempt to just ruin us somehow. It was it was really weird. I think he thought it would work because to him, if a, if he had a girlfriend and another girl came up to him and was like, I, I think you're really handsome. He would jump on that in two fucking seconds, not even caring. He is a shit human being. He does not care if he traumatizes anyone. He does not care if he hurts somebody's feelings. He doesn't care if he causes a problem for people. He just wants things to go his way, and if it doesn't, he's gonna fucking cry about it. Oh, poor me. Uh, things are so hard at my job. <laughs> Boo fucking who. God, he really gets on my nerves. But I think the real tea doesn't even just start with me and the people who helped me to get more and more evidence on him. But it starts with a lovely lady named Maple, who would not take any fucking shit from this guy. Miss Maple, out of curiosity, snuck onto his amino, saw how terrible it was, as we were saying, and devised a plan. Maple wrote this to me. Back when I joined Humbly's Amino Anime Eternally, I didn't know what to expect. I'd heard plenty from you and plenty from others about him and thought I might as well go and check it out by myself. I mean, what could go wrong, right? It was absolutely appalling to see how he would talk to those girls, some of whom were underage. He was fully fucking aware that they were underage girls, but still would try to get sexual with them. Genuinely the most disgusting thing I've ever had to witness. One of the girls from his Discord server didn't even know what sex was because she said she was 10, yet he still tried to force himself on her, and she just kept asking questions and getting confused. It was so revolting. Humbly has said he's in his mid-twenties. I think he said he's 25 or 26. I don't remember. But a 20-something-year-old guy should not be messaging young girls and boys like that. I remember when I was talking to his main girlfriend at the time, Nuna, he had threatened to leak her face and her nudes from when she was underage just because she didn't want to deal with this mistreatment anymore and decided to side with me. Long story, but... Nuna had been very loyal to Humbly for quite a long time, quite a few years, but she had enough at some point. Maple managed to convince her to actually side with us. Well done, Maple. Anyways, continuing on. What's funny to me now is I see I still have Humbly's Discord account. I blocked him because I hated arguing with him and telling him that one, I'm not interested in his crusty dick. And two, I think he's a terrible fucking person. He would just get mad and make little to no sense. He was so bipolar, I'd try to play nice with him to stay in his shitty amino so I could friend the girls he was harassing, and whisk them away to Papaya's amino where they could talk freely and we could explain what's going on. Papaya is Maple's friend. But even if I was friendly, sometimes he'd just flat out try and get me to leave his amino, ban and unban me constantly, it made it so much harder and at some point I snapped at him. He's just a stupid dick. 
Now I'm going to share uh, more screenshots of things that I witnessed happened or people gave to me, like as evidence that, yeah, he's being an absolute terrible person and a complete creep. I also forgot to mention that um, he apparently had a Discord server and also an Instagram account where he would also message girls and try to convince them to come to those places from Amino. So if you see any screenshots from Instagram or Discord, that's because we managed to infiltrate those places as well. Ugh, Maria, I'm in love with you. Date me. LOOK AT ME! Yes, I am. I, I don't even want to fucking read that. I'm looking at you. Now! Now, Maria! Now! Get down, whore. You came running. Back to a crazy, aggressive fuck. Beg for what you want. Bitch, I'm so fucking crazy. Ciel, don't ignore. Sir, please, I beg you. Give me your cookies. Ciel, I should mention, is um underage. 14, to be exact. And humbly has admitted to being in his 20s. In his fucking 20s! Uh, here's a screenshot of that loyal girl getting very jealous that he's, uh, getting attention from other girls right in a public chat. Which he asked for, by the way. Here's a screenshot of that same girl being like, I was gonna make you a Valentine's Day post. And he got pissed off because I think she didn't post it in time. He wanted it to happen faster and she was trying to actually put effort into it. Um, he just got pissed, asked other girls to post Valentine's Day posts for him. She got insanely jealous and upset and she just starts getting really, really angry and upset at him for just essentially ruining the Valentine's Day for her. I'm not gonna show all the screenshots here, there's literally 133 of them. Possibly more, I'm still sifting through everything. If you want to see everything, I have a link down below. Please only join this community if you feel like you actually will be able to handle all the stuff that is there. It's a community that Mr. Dax has made. He made it ages ago but we've reformed it into being a place where we can keep screenshots of things and we plan to invite other ranters and people who want to keep things organized and all in one place. This way also other ranters can collab together and yeah, just keep all of their evidence together in one place so everybody can see. People can make their own videos on the situations as well. It's just so we can all work together to expose horrible people. And we can also find out about new situations because other people, like people who watch me, watch Father Ashton or whoever the fuck else, can go and report their own stories. We have a guide on how to do that properly so it's not like confusing for us either. I recommend checking the community out. All the screenshots are there if you really want to see everything. But yes, trigger warning, there's a lot of like graphic speak in the, in the screenshots. So please be wary of that before joining. Anyways, I think that's all I have to say on my side of the story, on the situation. Now let's bring this over to Dax. Take it away, Fairy Man! Thank you, Kite and Ashton, for your contribution to this video. Now, it looks like it's my turn. Hello. I'm Dax, and this is actually my first video on my channel, as well as my first collab video. I've been involved in several of Ashton and Kite's shenanigans but I definitely think the drama with Humbly takes the cake. I came late to the party definitely, as I'd heard about Humbly from Kite and Maple. I wasn't directly involved from the start, but I got curious after seeing the hundreds of screenshots that people took of him and his amino. I mean, some of the shit you see there is either really appalling or borderline hilarious. I will never get over Humbly's misspelling of the word, slut as slot or how he screamed at someone in dms that the sun makes his strong i mean seriously where does he come up with this i got so curious that i eventually joined his amino with some others to try and interact with him and boy was it hell he seemed so genuinely confused at first that me and a friend of mine were there just joking and sharing tiktoks with each other not giving a flying fuck that he was even there 
Eventually he asked us if we wanted to watch a movie. I mean, did I? Fuck yeah I did. We literally just chilled and watched a movie with this guy for half an hour. My first interaction on Anime Eternally was watching a horror movie with a pedophile. I wish I was making this shit up. One thing did lead to another though, and this dude decided he wanted to go full on gay for me. It was either I'd better get down and suck his wrinkly dick, or I was going to get the boot. Obviously I didn't want to touch his baby carrot, so I chose to leave instead. But man was this dude aggressive. You can tell he's desperate for literally anyone to be a part of his weird harem by the way he tries to intimidate you into doing what he wants. But only inside his own household because once he's in someone else's, he turns into a quivering pussy. If you yell at him, he won't yell back. He knows if he pisses you off you'll just ban him. In anime eternally however, he'll be a dick all he wants. He'll treat you however he wants and do whatever it takes to get his way. This is why I want to say that you should not go into his community. Do not give him any reason to manipulate you, or blackmail you. Don't send him anything personal, don't send him any pictures, because he will use that against you to try and get what he wants. This has been a PSA from Ashton, Kite, and yours truly. Please, stay safe out there, and I hope to see you all again shortly. Ta-ta. Cause this cranial tumor is not so humorous The bitch is new to this uterus Killing girls with the million cramps That are thicker than the fluid gets Now that's a stupid bitch I get offended by these girls with their useless shit So if you got a problem Write it on a piece of paper And shove it up your ass I probably wouldn't read it later I'm so faded like your grandma in the hospital with Alzheimer's She won't remember this joke But just remember Even when she's losing her brain She won't hesitate to wake up and start screaming my name Like in the hospital She gon' be screaming my name In the grave she gon' be screaming my name In the wheelchair She gon' be screaming my name Who am I, who am I, yup, yup, it's Pink Guy So who am I, yup, yup, it's Pink Guy Kissing too much ass and he might contract Pink Guy They said I wasn't smart enough to get some A's again I wrote some essays up like a rest and a few Mexicans So what the fuck is with this estrogen?